Hello everyone, welcome to my next video on Excel tips and tricks. In this video, we are going to see how to find unique and duplicate values within your given data using COUNTIF formula. Using this trick, you can identify the duplicate values and then delete them from your data very easily. So let's get started. My objective here will be to find how many multiple instances or duplicate values are available for each of the cell values of A, B, C and D using COUNTIF formula. Let me add the COUNTIF formula here. The input to range will be one single cell that is A2 and then colon A2 means I am considering my entire range as one single cell and the criteria will be the value of that particular cell. Obviously the output will be one because the range is single cell and the value is the cell value of itself so the output will be 1. Suppose if I drag this formula to all the cell values obviously the output of all the cell values will be 1 because Excel will add all these formulas in a continuous way and each of this formula will find the count of that particular cell within that cell range. But to find the count of duplicate instances or multiple instances what I can do is I can go back to this formula and then lock the very first cell using F4 key. I am going to lock it both row wise and column wise. I am going to make it as absolute in other words. And then hit enter. Now if I drag this formula. What happens is in the first cell. This A2 cell is going to remain as it is. And even in the last cell. This A2 cell is going to remain as it is because it is absolute. So the other cell value will keep on expanding from A2 to A14 and then giving the actual count of duplicate and multiple values for each of these respective cells. For example, if I consider the value of cell A, the very first instance will be counted as 1, the second will be 2 and the third will be 3. Similarly for B value, it will be 1, 2 and 3 instances. So you can filter out all the values which are greater than 1 to find the duplicate values easily. This is one way of doing it. The other way is pretty much simple. Only difference will be in terms of output. Using this formula, we are getting the output as continuous instances. Like if I consider the value of A, we are going to get the output as 1, 2 and 3. Using this trick or the other way, we are going to get the very first instance as 1 and rest of the instances with actual counts. So the output will be 1, 3 and 3. Let me copy this formula here and then use if formula my logical test will be to check if this particular count is greater than 1 if the value is true then I want the count of this A2 cell value in entire range not only in the A2 cell value I am going to count A2 cell in the total data that is available if the value is false then I want the output to be in the same way that we did before that is same formula. The only difference is if the count is greater than 1 then I am going to count the particular cell value in the total range means I am going to get the total count of that particular cell value. I hope you got the logic. If I hit enter now and then drag this formula to all the values. Now you will see for value of A you are getting the very first instance as 1 and rest of the instances as actual counts that is 3. Similarly for cell value of C, the very first instance will be 1 and rest of the instances will be actual counts that is 4. Again you can filter out all the values which are greater than 1 and then remove them from your values. So this is how you can find the unique values and multiple values within your given data range. And that comes to the end of my video. I hope you people found this video very interesting and informative. Please provide your feedback in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.